here we are again, indoors. I uh, thought I'd do something today to try and stay in a little bit, even though the weather outside is just wonderful. I really want to get out, but I'm trying to do my part by staying home, but I'm not liking it much. But today, I want to talk about camera gear. Stick around. Well, my camera gear consists of three different cameras. One of them being, which is, this is now my backup, um, which is my cell phone. I use it for mainly taking pictures and flying my drone because this is a very important part of that. And I'm using my backup camera so I can film my main camera. Then I'm going to switch to my main camera so I can film my other camera. You got that? Oh my. Well, anyway, my main camera is this little guy right here. The Osmo Pocket, DJI Osmo Pocket. And the reason I like this little guy is a number of reasons. One, it has the mechanical gimbal on top. I like it much better than the electronic stabilized. And it can film 4K, 2.7K, or 1030p. And the 1030p is what I've been using because my computer won't do 2.7 or 4K. I gotta get a new computer. I don't want to. Maybe one day. But right now, 1080p is good enough for what I'm doing. Also, my Osmo Pocket takes a, uh, a mount to put it on my monopod or my small tripod. And that's this little guy right here. And it just clamps in here. And of course I have a uh, quick detach base on all of my cameras so that I can switch them out when I want to use them and not have to screw things on, screw things off. So now let's get this guy mounted up and I'll try and show you the rest of my stuff. Okay, now I got my Osmo pocket on the monopod and I wanted to show my and it's on the uh, internal microphone right now. The Rode microphones. And I'm going to hook those up right now. And let's see if we can tell any difference. I'm sure there will be. Okay, now I got the wireless mic hooked up. And does that sound any different? I don't know. It probably indoors. It doesn't make a big difference, but... Um, sh uh, no, it does outdoors. Okay, then there's my cell phone mount. It's just your typical spring loaded <laughs> cell phone mount. And I've got the quick detach base on the bottom. That's for when I use my cell phone. So, now, and I also have ND filters for both my uh, Osmo Pocket and my drone. Uh, these are Polar Pro filters for the Osmo Pocket, and I have Freewell filters for the Mavic Air for my drone. All right, and my third camera is my... Sony Handycam. Now this one's only 
films in uh, 1080p, but it's true high definition. It's This came out before they were doing 4K in these, and of course, this one wasn't one of those. So, but it takes good video, and it takes excellent photographs, and it'll zoom. The Osmo Pocket does not zoom. So this is my backup camera, along with my cell phone. And, of course, my aerial camera. I'm sure some of you have already seen some of it. I'm still learning. Still learning this guy. So, this is my aerial camera. The DJI Mavic Air. I love this little drone. It, it adds a wonderful perspective to what... I'm doing out there. I get both ground level and air. And it has uh, really changed my videos once I learn how to use this and the rest of my cameras, actually. <laughs> um, it's a continuous learning process. Everything changes all the time. So, now... My small tripod is the UltraPod 2. And of course, it has the quick release base as well. Or should I say, it's actually the mount. And it just folds down into a little portable tripod. And I just hook this to the outside of my backpack. It's an easier way to carry it. My monopod, of course, has the camera attached to it all the time. And I will show that once I get completed here so that you can see what everything has been standing on this whole time. Then, of course, after all of that... There's the bag of batteries, cables, ND filters, um, power pack for recharging uh, batteries in the field, mostly just my cell phone, the camera, or a drone battery if I need it. I got actually got three drone batteries and I haven't run out of them yet when I've been filming, but that could happen. So, that's that. Now, I'll try to show you my monopod. This is my monopod. And I got a quick release mount on the top for the cameras. A cold shoe for my microphone. For my cordless microphone, my wireless. And, uh... I put the uh, receiver on here, and the transmitter goes on my shirt. So, and this is called a Seru. <laughs> I don't know. I can't pronounce that. But it is completely adjustable. And it, it extends out to... A full 64 inches. Anyway, goes all the way down. The bottom can be completely removed and uh, used as a separate small tripod. And of course, the legs fold up. And if push comes to shove, Kind of spike on the bottom, you can use it for a trekking pole. That's my tripod. That is my camera equipment. And uh, all together, it's quite heavy. It comes to just under eight pounds of camera gear on top of everything else that I carry. So, but it's a sacrifice I make to get videos of what I do. 
So, I say so a lot, don't I? Yeah. Habits you can't break, and that is one of them. Until next time, my friends. Bye for now.